Erev Tov Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, President Donald J. Trump is signing orders to move forward with the construction of the Keystone XL and Dakota Access pipelines in the Oval Office today. The question now remains as to how is this going to affect the Native Americans who were fighting uh, President uh, Obama tooth and nail to stop this pipeline uh, from coming through their territorial lands. Standing Rock Victory, Native American tribes and environmental protesters celebrate as Dakota Access oil pipeline permit is rejected. This was back in December uh, of last year. And now it seems to be, unless I'm misunderstanding something here, the Dakota Access Pipeline has been signed in the Oval Office to move forward with the construction of that pipeline. And that a pipeline, the Dakota Access Oil Pipeline permit that was rejected last year is now back on track. How is this going to affect the Native American Indians? And of course, we know that Donald Trump is doing this for prosperity and jobs, according to um, uh, some of the things that he has said about this. And uh, of course, I actually threw in our own comment there asking how does this affect the Native American Indians? Um, so don't really know about that. Some people are accusing uh, Donald Trump of profiting from this because of uh, having uh, uh, economic stakes in that. But of course, his company was uh, given over to his son, sold off his uh, shares in the company there. Uh, so I don't really put that at it there, but nonetheless, it is a very serious issue and very serious issue for the Native Americans and how many actually came out and bared with the freezing cold temperatures and everything else, different tribes from around the country that came and fought to stop uh, this pipeline because the possibility of leaks and contaminating their water supply that they have. And of course, the Native Americans have a right. It is was their land to begin with before they were driven back by the British colonies that first began in the United States. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Quick take of our broadcast. Uh, shalom.